Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel is Making with Marilyn. After a recent Embrilliance video, I had a viewer named Ricky ask me, do you know how to use Embrilliance to make an SVG file or a cut file? So something that you would use on an applique project. Here's a couple of examples. So in an applique project, you have fabric inside your border stitches. Here's another example. So the way you would use a cut file is you would have your Cricut or your Romeo or one of your cutting machines actually cut out the fabric for the letters instead of having to trim around it by hand. I looked into it, I learned how to do it, and now I'm ready to share that process with you. This is Embrilliant software, and from what I see, I believe that you can do this with just essentials. The first thing I'll do is go ahead and bring in an embroidery file. So I'm going to go File, Open Recent, and I'm going to open my USA applique design that I made in my last Embrilliance video. So if you're somewhat new to embroidery and you're wondering, why would you make an SVG file or a cut file? Here's why you would do that. Inside your U, your S, and your A, after you do your placement stitch, you're going to lay fabric down on there. So typically, you put your sheet of fabric down, and then you do your tack down stitch, which some might call a material stitch. Then you have to take the hoop off the machine, and you have to trim around your fabric. So if I go up to the stitch simulator, this is my placement stitch right here, or some people call it a position stitch. So I'd stitch that out. I'd lay fabric all across the USA, and then I'd go ahead and do the tack down stitch. That's where you attach that sheet of fabric to your design. After that, I would take the hoop off the machine, I would trim around that fabric, and then I'd go ahead and do the satin border stitch. Then I still have the stars to do. Well, if we can figure out how to have Embrilliance make a cut file so the applique fabric can be cut for you, and if you have a cutting machine that can cut fabric, you don't have to deal with that tedious task of trimming all that extra fabric away. That's why we're doing this video. To do that, and remember, we're just going to make a file for the U, the S, and the A that cuts our fabric out. But to do that, you need to find your position stitch or your placement stitch. So let's go ahead and make this larger so I see all the steps. This red layer is my position or my placement stitch. So I'm going to click on it. After I've done that, I click right down here on the red icon. Then over here, I need to make sure it's on applique. Go to where it says Style, use the down arrow, and then select Applique Position. I'm going to leave everything here alone, but I'm going to click right here. That should say Save As, but it's just missing the S. So I'll say Save As. It's set to save as an SVG. That's exactly what I want to be able to cut this on my Cricut or my Romeo or my other cutting machines. And then I think I'll just name this. I could leave the name the same or I could change the name, but I think it'd be good for me to leave the name the same and then just put something like the word fabric at the end. So I'll say save. With this DPI, a DPI of 96 is fine. So I'll say OK. All right, let's go ahead and open Cricut Design Space. Now that Cricut Design Space is open, I'm going to say New Project, and I'll say Blank Canvas. Now I can go right over here and I can say Upload. And you'll see I already have a couple of these because I was showing this during my YouTube Live tonight. I'll click on Upload Image, and then I can either browse for it or I can drag it in. Remember, mine has the same name as my applique design with the word fabric at the end of it. So I'll say browse. I see it right here, so I'll click on it and I'll say open. You can see right now it looks fine. Let's say continue. It looks good on this screen also, so I'll say upload. Notice when I upload, it doesn't look right. And at first that really confused me. But if you go ahead and you ungroup this, you can see all the different things in here, and there's the inside of my A. So I know that I can slice that out of the A and be fine. With that inside selected, I'm going to hold the Command button down, go down and add the A to it, and then I'll let go of the command and I'll hit Slice. 
You see the results over here. I'll click on that slice, delete it, this slice, delete it. And now it looks perfectly fine. We're ready to go ahead and cut this on our Cricut. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has been or you just enjoyed watching it, please give me that thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, if you have any suggestions for me, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. If you do subscribe, be sure to click that bell and then select all notifications. That way YouTube lets you know anytime I upload new content. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until my next video, bye-bye.